Oh, there it is! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey everyone, Exobro back with a quick start guide to help you stay alive in Sign of Silence. Your main objective in Sound of Silence is getting out alive using one of three possible ways. Every method requires a certain number of looted items and actions to allow you to escape to your freedom. Use the service elevator and escape after installing the looted fuses. If you have gas to refuel the generator and install the missing fuses, you can get the radio tower working. Then you can send an SOS message and... Get to the chopper! And finally, if you loot a boat engine and plenty of gas, you can escape by water. Oh God, Jesus, man, run! These are my quick tips to help you stay alive in Sign of Silence. You start out with a single flashlight, but keep an eye on your battery meter. And be sure to turn off your light to allow it to recharge. You'll need a full charge to help keep the night lit. Don't forget to use your Q key to highlight loot and to see your teammates location markers to make regrouping easier. Flares can be looted and help light the way, areas, and enemies around you. Use maps and road signs to navigate and help coordinate to find loot faster. Don't forget about your compass in the upper right hand that notes areas already explored. Found a bear trap? Dismantle it so you and your teammates don't accidentally step on them on your travels back and forth around the map. Try to stay silent by crouching and creeping around enemies. Avoid stepping on glass, scaring crows, or rattling chains as they can give away your location. These monsters hunt using noise levels, and you can track your levels with your noise meter on the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And finally, be sure to keep an eye out for various diary pages on your travels around the map. They might contain clues that explain what creeps in the forest at night. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.